Welcome to part two of adverb clauses on reductions. Here is a passage on wolves and their plight in North America. Let's take a look at how some of the adverb clauses can be reduced, giving a more succinct and academic feel to the writing. Remember, you can pause the video at any point to spend more time with the material. The first adverb clause deals with cause and effect. Here we see that it can be reduced to a clause deleting the subject and changing the verb to the progressive tense. There is another cause and effect adverb clause in this second paragraph. Can you find it? The reason wolves hunt is because they are meat eaters or carnivorous. Here we can reduce it using the same formula as the first, removing the subject and changing the verb to the present participle. Here is one more cause-effect adverb clause. Notice here the verb is the be verb. In this case, it signifies that the passive is being used. Whether we use being, or using having been, the present perfect progressive tense, the meaning remains the same. Now let's find a time-related adverb clause. Remember, time words consist of when, before, after, since, while, and so on. Here we've changed the past tense realized to realizing and deleted the subject. Again, using the perfect tense with have doesn't change the meaning. We can even delete the time word and still keep the meaning of sequence. Here is one more time-related adverbial clause. Notice, in this case, it is a passive tense. The subject is removed and the verb is given the progressive tense. Again, we can use the simple progressive as well. and deleting the time word after is perfectly fine. The understanding of the wolf's destruction happening first or being the reason for their being found in only a few places remains the same. Now let's look more closely at the process of reducing and the reason for it. Here we've taken out the subject and changed the verb to the ing form. What is the reason we can do this? If the subject is the same, omit it in the adverb clause. In addition, change the verb form in the adverb clause to the ing form. Remember, time clauses contain words such as after, when, before, since, and while. 
Here are some sentences illustrating the reduction. Notice that using the perfect progressive tense with have does not change the meaning. When the adverbial clause comes after the main clause, it does not need a comma. While is a time clause word. However, it shows that both the adverbial and main clauses are happening at the same time and can therefore be reduced to just verb plus ing. Here are some other sentences with the meaning of while with the same reductions. Cause and effect clauses show reasons for the main clause information to take place. Here, notice that the same rule applies. Omit the adverbial clause subject, in this case people, because it is consistent with the main clause they, which shows it is the same subject. Then the verb is changed to the ing form. Here is another case where the same is done. Only the verb is changed from the past tense was, showing passive form, to the perfect progressive having been. In these last cases, the original sentence uses R, the B form of the verb, as the main verb. In this case, we can even omit the verb itself and still retain the meaning. Upon is one word that means at the same time or when. It can also mean after but in the immediate sense that the second action happened just after the first. We can substitute when to have the same effect. Sometimes the word on is also used to mean the same thing. Now let's check in to see how well you understand these reductions. Remember to pause the video at any point to spend more time with the material. Take these original sentences and reduce them if possible. Remember to first double check to see if the subjects in the main clause and the adverbial clause agree. Here, it does equal the bear. And it is a time clause so we can take away the subject and change spends to spending. You can also delete after as well. How about in this case? We can reduce this as well in the same way. Remember that when, in many cases, is equal to upon. You can delete the time word completely as well and retain the meaning. Here's another. In this case, students and teacher are different subjects, making this unreducible.
Here's one more. Here we are dealing with a professor and a student, so you need to be careful about which is performing the action in each clause. The professor is allowing and he is also hearing, so it is reducible. Again, you have the choice to delete the subject, remembering to change the verb from heard to hearing, or deleting the time word altogether. For more info on adverbial clauses, make sure to watch the Adverb Clauses Part 1 or Intro video.